Hey there, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you for joining me here today. Hope you guys are well. I just saw the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, so hopefully that's a good sign. So we're going to see what's going on between you and your person of interest. And most of you will be watching this for a love connection, but you're welcome to watch it for any kind of relationship or relationship to a situation. Just take the reading as it resonates for you or as benefits you and leave anything that does not fit your situation. If it's not really resonating within the first few minutes, it might not be a reading. You can try another one of your signs or you can try another Scorpio video here on the channel. Um, and you're always welcome to stay. Um, there might be little tidbits for you here and there or um, just to soak in the energy. I do intend to put um, healing energy in my video. So you're welcome. Anyone's welcome to stick around even if it doesn't seem to be your reading. Okay, so just follow your intuition on which videos to watch. All right, Scorpio, thank you as always for your support. Let's go into your reading. Um, what is your overall energy in this connection? A couple cards already wanted to come out. All right, I think four here. All right. We have, oh, Ten of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Star. And then we have the Three of Wands. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And things look kind of nice here for you, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on on their side. What is their energy toward you, Scorpio? We have the King of Cups. You might be with another Scorpio here, possibly. And then we have Judgment. Yeah, speaking of that, this is um this is like a Scorpio card as well, Pluto. And then we have the Six of Cups. All right, this looks very nice here so far, Scorpio. Uh, Seven of Cups as well for them. So let's take the connecting energy. What does that look like between you two? What is connecting you two? We have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. I'll get one more card for the connecting energy. There's the Four of Cups. Wow. Okay. And this one card wanted to come out as well. Seven of Swords. Goodness. This is interesting, Scorpio. All I see here is there's like some kind of divide between you two. Um, it looks like there's a lot of love for each other on both sides here. Um, something I feel like you started out or you still are, you feel very happy with this person whenever you're in contact with them um, or you see them maybe as the person you want to spend your life with, um, someone who just really feels fulfilling to be around. But I feel something has recently caused you to put up some kind of guard or boundaries or you're trying to isolate yourself into your own little bubble. Maybe this person hasn't been able to come through for you. There could be another person in the way here possibly with this Queen of Swords. It looks like you both are turning away right now um, and possibly hiding things from each other, hiding, you know, just your feelings, not wanting to talk straightforwardly right now. Um, it looks like you still have hope for something more in the future here, Scorpio. So this could either mean um, you haven't given up on this connection at all because you really feel like you guys have something. Um, you're very focused maybe on what you have with this person, what you did have at one time. And I feel you still think that there's there's a lot in store for this connection. Or this could be you moving on to um, you know more beautiful places as well if if you feel it wasn't working out with this person. So I feel like right now they could be trying to release something from their past with this judgment card coming up. So with the King of Cups being here, this person, this is showing that this person does deeply and truly care about you or you have stirred some emotions within them. So I do feel like there's really something there for you from this person, especially with the Six of Cups showing up as well. Um, this is a very caring and uh, affectionate type bond between two people. You might have a connection with dogs as well. So the judgment card being here, I do feel like this person is still working on maybe um, moving on from another situation, another connection possibly, and maybe that caused them to kind of put the brakes on. I feel like they haven't been wanting to talk about this at all. I feel like you've been kind of in the dark, Scorpio, and you've started to maybe put your guard up because if you do feel any of this energy from someone, you know, you're immediately like, oh, I, can't, I don't want to deal with that. So let's clarify judgment. Here's the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person is needing to reevaluate something. Right now, they, they know very much that they have some serious feelings for you, and I feel like they're trying to tread carefully. I feel like maybe they're trying not to repeat mistakes from the past. They're trying to make sure they've learned their lessons and they're going forward in a way that will make sense for you, you two. 
So let's see what Oracle cards we have that come up. So yeah, it feels like a lot of you either aren't communicating with this person or the communication has lessened or there's just like less um, like honest communication going on right now. And there, there could be a breakup here for sure as well. So um, for some of you though, it just feels maybe more of a pause in the action to kind of think over things and to make sure uh, mistakes of the past aren't repeated. Okay, yeah, I do feel like there's a lot that both of you just are not wanting to reveal to the other. Um, here's regret. Someone feels remorse for how they treated you. And on their side, we have marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. So this could be um, a reunion card as well. So I feel like maybe this person was really feeling things speed up with you too. Um, I feel like they do see you as the person they could spend their life with, just as you were seeing this as well with the Ten of Cups here. So I feel like they were really feeling closer and closer to you and they were just like not ready to get that close just yet. And I feel that they weren't wanting to explain um, just what was going on or it just like wasn't even clear to themselves um, what they wanted. So I feel like they kind of pulled back because they didn't um, want to make things unfair for you. Um, I feel like they're trying to give you space to figure some things out in your life as well because I feel like you both like, just have a lot of thinking to do. Um, so this regret card right here. Maybe you feel some regret in the situation here, um, Scorpio. Um, or you're... I, I'm going to get... Excuse me. I'm going to get a clarifying card for this regret card. So that could be like the Five of Cups here. Here's the Sun. I feel you're really missing what you guys had together, what you guys were sharing together. Or maybe right now you are feeling... Um, like regret that you didn't take a different path or you you wish you would have approached things differently in this situation. Maybe you're feeling like you wish you didn't open up so much so soon already. And here's I'll choose you in a heartbeat over and over again. So I do feel you're still choosing this person here with these extremely positive cards. The Seven of Wands to me is really kind of a weak defense card. It's not like huge walls that you have up. Um, you're just, but I do feel you're trying to protect your heart here. I feel like this person has definitely gotten into, into your heart. It feels like you've gotten into theirs as well. And I feel like there was just this moment where you both are just like, oh crap, you know, what do we do now? Um, because there was something maybe stopping you guys from fully advancing this relationship. And here's next level love. All right. So this person does recognize maybe that they need to go to the next level in their life um, to be able to be a you know good and equal partner for you. Um, with this judgment card here, I feel like they're, they're realizing like they're not, maybe not up to your level. They're like not quite there yet. So they, they do feel some kind of um, energetic mismatch here that they're maybe trying to rectify right now. Okay, um, off the top of this deck, we are one. Interesting. So I feel both of you very much recognize just the, um, I don't know, the specialness of this connection is what I'm getting. So this is something different than either of you have ever had, and it's definitely caused pause for reflection. All right, what else for you, Scorpio? We have the lion. So I feel like you're trying to stay very, very strong right now. Maybe there has been some kind of letdown here with this regret card. And I feel you're just trying to blaze right through it and not let your, um, just not let your hopes get down about the future here. Um, maybe you have too much pride also to admit to this person how you're feeling. That maybe they let you down and you're just not wanting, to, or, or you're regretting that you guys don't have what you once had. It's a disappointment to you. And I feel like you're like not willing to tell them your feelings. And for them, we have the Stingray. This person's really in their emotions right now. We have all of these are water cards, basically. I mean, even Judgment um, being connected to Scorpio. So this, and this is interesting. This is kind of like a Scorpio-like card to Stinger. Like scorpions have a stinger. Um, okay, so with the stingray card, this is showing just how vulnerable and sensitive this person is feeling right now. I feel maybe they they feel like they can't have like an honest discussion about what's going on with their feelings right now. Um, some of them are afraid. Like um, I feel like some of them are still wounded from the past, and they feel like maybe they would um, like lash out. They wouldn't be able to really talk 
um, like rationally about things right now. They're really, really emotional, it seems like. So there's a lot of like preparation, like emotional preparation they're having to do to accept this next level love into their life. And, um, you know, some of you will, um, are going to wait for this person to see what's going on because maybe it's just been a short period of time that you guys have um, somewhat turned away from each other. Um, so you're, you're still like hanging in there hopeful and others of you, I feel are ready to, you know, just move on and be like, you know, take your time, but I'm moving on for now. All right. I sometimes wonder if you care. This is interesting. Um, I'm definitely getting this from you, Scorpio. These are some of these dark thoughts coming up to haunt you right now, despite there being so much happiness and joy and positivity that you have felt with this person. So I feel like maybe this person kind of went quiet and they really were starting to maybe become somewhat or like seemingly indifferent to you, um, like seemingly disinterested. Um, and I feel like they're just seeing more and more about you and I feel they're liking more and more and it's like the feelings are building up and the attraction, the light for you is building up and it's like, oh my gosh, um, I wasn't ready for this. I don't know what to do. I'm not ready. I also feel like they don't want to lead you on in any way before they're totally ready for something. And here's, I would do anything for you. So this makes a lot of sense because I feel like this is what their feelings were building up into is that they really feel like they would like give their life to you. And um, like with marriage here as well, you know, they want to, they see you as the person they could spend their life with and just like pledge themselves to. But something is really making them withdraw, pull back, reconsider maybe right now. Um, for some of you that maybe there are like other people that they have, like, again, there's someone they need to finish up some business with, or they have to convince themselves that, you know, they're over that person. So just take that if that resonates for you. All right, let's get some more tarot cards here for you, Scorpio. All right, what else is going on with you in this connection? Your strength. Wow, another lion card coming through. Lots and lots of Leo coming through here. You're really solar powered right now, Scorpio. So keep connecting to that energy of the sun, that bright star energy. You have the star here as well. And we have the five of swords. So I feel like you are really having to maybe dig into your strength right now because maybe you're feeling like things are falling apart here and it's like all you're really thinking about. But I feel like you're just grinning and bearing it. You're going. You're just keeping, you just continue going. And wow, speaking of continuing on, here's the chariot. So wow, Scorpio, um, I guess like all, in death, all I can say is I am proud of you for picking yourself up after what seems to be maybe you feel it's like turning into another failure or something and it's really disappointing. But I feel you're picking, you're like picking yourself up, picking yourself back up in like record timing now and moving forward. Um, again, I feel like you're determined if this person is willing to work out, work things out with you. I feel like you're very determined to, um, figure out how to make this work. So this is success with determination here. All right. What else is going on with them? All right. We have the three of wands. We have the sun. Interesting. You guys have like a solar lion connection and the ace of pentacles. Wow. So seven of swords again. Gosh. Okay. It feels like there's like just so much interference coming in, in this connection. Um, so do your best to hold tight to your um, connection to to your higher source, to your highest power, to your highest self, um, to God, Scorpio, hold on to that really, um, you know, pure, powerful connection, hold on to your power and your strength as much as possible, because I just feel like there's like this connection being tested somehow. Um, and it's just going through some difficulty right now. So it doesn't mean you guys won't prevail and you won't have victory. It just, it seems like it's a little bit of a difficult period right now. It could still, you guys could still make it through because I feel like this person does see a future with you. They are planning on um, more with you with this three of wands here and the sun and the ace of pentacles right after that and the lovers. So I'm getting like this person is very much seeing you as a big part of their future. 
and um, they you are a huge light in their life. You are very you very much have a huge power source that they're drawn to. They love your power, and I feel like they really do want to give what they can offer to you. So they could be trying to figure out what they can offer right now. They want to make sure it's going to be enough for you. So I feel like they're still trying to get a good read on you, a good feel for you. Okay, Scorpio, what are you feeling about them overall? We have the star. I, I, it's interesting because I was just focusing on these two cards right here, feeling like you still have hopes for this. And here's the Hierophant. Some of you could be praying for this to work out. And here's the Five of Pentacles. So it looks like you're kind of going back and forth between being very hopeful about things working out and then maybe feeling um, like maybe this person has rejected you. I, but you feel like committed to this person in a way with this Hierophant here. And here's Justice. A few of you could be married to this person. But most of you are hopeful for um, something much more right now. And wow, the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles being here, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this is, yeah, I keep getting this as a test. This is a storm for you to go through. And you're going to come through more and more powerfully than ever. Actually, that's been a theme in a lot of readings this week. It has been um, like just power power and strength and magic surrounding you guys so maybe that's in the collective overall the knight of cups is on the bottom of the deck so i feel like there is going to be victory in love here and what are they feeling about you scorpio so just keep standing strong you know become the lion um eight of swords so it looks like they're afraid to make some kind of move or say something to you to speak their truth and here, wow well, yeah here's the nine of swords as well so this person's having a lot of anxiety around this and then we have the five of swords i'm feeling there's gonna be another swords okay and the knight of pentacles all right i feel like this person does not want to like completely leave your life or anything with this knight of pentacles being here but it looks like they are dealing with quite the storm um so it's there, it's like they're feeling pain when they think about you or when they're connected to you right now. I feel it's kind of like maybe you're somewhat off limits to them. It's like if there's something that's separating you guys like a long distance or like another relationship that's on its way out, um, you know, something that needs to still be tied up. Um, or I feel like this person, they, gosh, I'm going to get one more card. Like why all these swords here? Why are all these swords here? The Queen of Swords. So this could represent you. Maybe they're afraid they upset you um, or um, they're waiting for you to maybe move on from a situation. You know, if you still have to cut ties with someone or something, that could be the thing. And um, they could be afraid of losing you. Maybe they're afraid they upset you. Maybe they're afraid you're going to reject them um, for some reason if they approach you. Um, this could be someone that they're still dealing with that they need to cut ties with. And it has been stirring that maybe that person has been interfering. It's been stirring up a lot of anxiety and frustrations in them right now. So I feel like they're just afraid. Maybe if they get too close to you right now, it's not, things aren't going to work out. Like I do feel like they're trying to kind of give you your space. So that way um, they don't bring any like bad negative energy into your life right now. They could be going through... Just all sorts of weird personal things as well that they're like, they don't, they just kind of like to suffer in silence. They don't want to really bring anyone else into it, especially you, because it seems like they do care a lot about you with the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. All right. What are your intentions toward them, Scorpio? So it feels like a lot of you are still holding out hope for this, you know, holding space for them. Yeah. This is the Two of Wands here. So it does look like, you know, you're, you still have um, part of you still in the game here, but part of you is like considering just kind of moving on as well. And here's the Eight of Swords. And then we have the King of Wands. Um, some of you might have some other people that have come in and have caught your interest to some degree. So I feel like you're trying to kind of keep your options open right now. But overall, um, 
I feel you're just going to stay in one place for a bit. I feel like you're very hesitant to get involved with anyone else right now. Um, you're hesitant to say anything to this person right now. But part of you, is, I feel it's more like a waiting game right now for you. Um, letting this person kind of have their space, let them have their freedom, their time, and then letting letting things come back around, see how they work out. So maybe you gave that, maybe you have like a spe specific amount of time in your mind. Like I'll give them like the next couple weeks or a month or something, and then if nothing changes or if it feels worse, well then I might move on because I have a lot of other, um, I have a lot to offer and I a lot of other people interested in me. Okay, Scorpio, their per your person. What are their intentions towards you? We have the Two of Swords. So it's kind of like they don't even know like what their intentions are. They just I feel like they just know they like you or love you. And here's the Seven of Cups. And the King of Cups. So again, they know they love you. They they know that they care about you. So I feel like that those feelings are not going to be going away. Um, the two of swords being here, it looks like you both are like stuck in the stalemate here where, um, you're not giving this up, but you're not really progressing it right now either. I feel like this person is pretty confused by, um, like other people, other things, other situations, just, they have their, their head in the clouds and, um, it's like they, they aren't down to earth right now, which yeah, they're, they're very much in their head with all these swords coming through here. So I'm feeling like they're not ready to take action right now, at least for the short term here. So let's take a look. What is what is their main block and fear with you, Scorpio, in this connection? I worry about us a lot. Wow. Okay, so we did see lots and lots of worry, fears coming through right now. Um, I really feel like they're, they're worried they're going to lose you, um, but they feel like their hands are tied, like they can't make a move right now for some reason. I feel like maybe someone, someone else, something else, their attachment to something or someone else is overpowering them right now. So they're having to make a choice to release the past and move forward to a more beautiful future. I feel Scorpio, you've done more work maybe to get ready to step into a new future and they still are more stuck in the past. All right, so what are you both thinking about each other? We have, I don't want to lose you. Wow, yeah. And sex with you. All right. So this could be like the six of wands here. I don't want to lose you. Maybe like the four of pentacles. So I feel like you both are like holding on tight, but not wanting to open up. And um, there is a very strong physical, I feel emotional, mental attraction here as well. So you, you both know that you're like really compatible and seemingly perfect for one another. All right, so what are you both feeling about each other? I've never imagined so much perfection. This is interesting. So you both have each other on a pedestal, and I feel like this is why you guys aren't really letting go of this despite there being some difficult energy coming between you two right now. The Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords are some of the, to me, like the worst cards in the deck, pretty much. Um, this just split off the deck here. I'm a very jealous person. So um, there could be kind of like a jealousy and possessiveness on both sides that maybe you guys haven't revealed to one another yet. That could be what the Seven of Swords is all about as well, just kind of hiding um, those kinds of tendencies and, you know, trying to be like positive and optimistic for each other, but there's like these darker side you haven't shown each other yet. Um, not not necessarily anything really bad, but just, you know, the, the typical relationship shadows. Um, anything else here? And yeah, I, I just get Scorpio, you have a general positive attitude about this person still. Okay, and here is, do you even see me that way? So maybe both of you are having some insecurities about maybe the other isn't into you all that much, as much as you're into them. All right, let's get at least one card on what we, might you expect from this person in the next couple weeks, Scorpio. We have the Page of Cups. All right, so they might reach out with an apology or just some kind of um, affectionate advance here. So you might be um, getting some kind of communication from them, and it's gonna—I feel it's gonna feel good. Um, it might—you might feel well cared for. Um, yeah, I feel like they are going to want to kind of repair some of the damage here or they might want like some more understanding of you they might be open to listening to your feelings about what's come between you two all right let's get you an advice card here scorpio 
All right, so, uh, we have the horse, number 26. Accepting help from another, delegating authority. Okay, so Scorpio, it looks like you, I feel you're so, you're so, so fiercely independent. I can tell that from these cards right here. So be sure you are letting, um, yeah, accepting help from, uh, from others. So I feel like you guys need to become a little more receptive to others coming into your life and supporting you. Um, there could be, you could have some energetic blocks to getting too close to someone because you're just always wanting to do things alone. I feel like there still could be a lot of fear about letting someone in to rely on them in any way. So work on healing those core wounds, those like abandonment and betrayal wounds. Um, that's hard to, that can be hard to do because they're pretty deep, but you can do it. So just keep on working on yourself in that way. I feel like you've made a lot of progress because there's a lot of light here. So keep filling yourself in with this. Um, you know, divine solar light and just letting it clear and heal you as much as possible, Scorpio, and strengthen you. Let it strengthen you. All right. So let's see here. Um, what might they say to you, Scorpio? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> You're the most beautiful person I've ever met. Wow. I believe it. I believe it from this person. There's a high regard here for you. That's why this uh, stuff that's between you two is very frustrating. I sense something pushing us back to one another. Okay, so that's why maybe this page of cups is coming out because, you know, they're, they're not losing interest. And you are incredibly sexy. I can't stop imagining all the things I want to do to you. Interesting. And here's, you've made me feel so much. I'm just so blown away by you. Looks like you both have made each other feel a lot since you have the, the Ten of Cups over here. I'm not sure this is a good idea. So maybe that's where all the swords came up. Like they hit the brakes on their feelings. They're like, I'm not sure if I can give my heart away again. That might be part of the problem. Is they're not ready to open their heart just yet. I feel you with me. And please listen to my side. All right, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot you don't know about their side of things. So it's not like you haven't wanted to listen. It's just that they haven't revealed more to you about their side. So um, maybe like try to consider some other things before um, feeling like they're just you know, maybe repeating, like being someone from the past that was terrible to you. Um, they, might, they might not be like that at all. Um, it, they have other reasons for maybe withdrawing and acting this way. But of course, you never have to make excuses for someone if you need to, if you feel you need to move on, Scorpio, definitely go ahead and do that. And my love for you is without bound. I live for your smile and would die for your kiss. And then we have, you are worth fighting for. All right, just like we had that, um, I would do anything for you. Wow, yeah. This person really sees you as that person for them. But again, there's so many fears that, that are stopping them at the moment from stepping fully into that. Um, okay, Scorpio, I think that's all I have for you. I hope this helped you in some way. And like I said, if you don't feel like this was your reading, you're welcome to try another sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or you can try another sign to see if it um, maybe has some more parts of your story to it. Um, anything else? Oh yeah. Thank you so much. If you stopped by my music channel last week for my birthday, that means so much to me. Um, I will be trying to go back and reply through all the comments that I got over there. I'm still able to manage all the comments on that channel since it's a very small channel compared to these two tarot channels. And I so appreciate you guys for leaving comments here too, for any nice comments. Um, I'm sorry. I can't always keep up with all of them, but I do try to read through as many as I can. Um, whenever I can and you guys your support is so appreciated and even if you never comment even if you're just showing up here that means a lot and I hope I'm helping you somehow and I hope I get to see you again soon Scorpio please take care bye bye